it's here well not really officially here but the early access for the new balloons td32 update is here for us to take a look at at what the new contested territory game mode brings us in ninja kiwi's update which i am so incredibly pumped for and excited about so if you're excited for the new update and you want to see more of this kind of stuff here on the channel you know what to do i don't even need to tell you click the like button so without further ado let's jump into it so ninja kiwi has asked us not to snoop around and look at other things right here i see that's the paragon and i know that's for the engineer paragon and i want to click on it and want to look at it but i'm not allowed to and there's new there's the new hero skins and there's new things but i'm not gonna look at it my eyes are closed i'm not peeking also we have we have special towers and my name is now pop tower 64838 let's jump into the new contested territory game mode wow this looks so cool all right, who's, well, let's look at my team. Do we have anyone on my team? Let's see. We got, look at all these people. Pop Tower. I have no idea who these people are. I wonder, we have 8 out of 15 messages. So we have a bunch of things that our people are doing. Do we have a team code? Heroic Defenders. Yo, so there's teams now. So we can officially have teams. You know we're going to be making a 2D team. Don't you worry about that. We're going to have the best of the best, okay? So we have a team store where we have boost powers, <laughs> at air and sea description. All right, so I don't think these are quite ready yet. So this update should be coming out later in, I think, in early August? I think, I think next month. Um, don't quote me on that. So we got this little guy. What else do we got? We got my team. We got the leaderboards. Let's see who's a banana squad number one. Yo. Oh, so there's banana squad, brickle battle, sons of Quincy's. Mo I'm in heroic defenders. I'm in number five. I'm number five. We gotta get. We gotta get that. We gotta get those numbers up. So let's go ahead and play contested territory. So let's read it out. So, welcome to Contested Territories. Work together with your team, capture tiles, come out on top of the leaderboards, and earn great rewards. So, I don't need to read any of these. I'm sure I could figure it out. Let's jump right into it. Let's just go right into it. Balloons hasn't had... Whoa! Yo, what am I looking at? Okay, so we're blue. We're heroic defenders. So, we need to... So, I can try to take over stuff. There's a score, neutral, so that's banana squad. So, banana squad's crushing it right now okay so let's see what is this over here least tears monkey legend so this is the contested map right now we're not doing too well we're not doing too well at all blue where's pink oh my gosh poor pink they don't have anything over here they got nothing so we got to start expanding our tiles i guess so let's see where's the best way green's got green's our neighbors over here and they're kind of like taking over so let's see what do we got right here monkey legends so let's let's see what this is all about. So use the fewest monkeys, towers, and upgrades possible to win the tile. Each monkey and hero placed in each upgrade counts as one tier. Paid hero upgrades also count as a tier. Selling a monkey does not reduce the tier count. Interesting. All right, and how many tickets do we have? So you have to use tickets. All right, change hero. I can't. So I have to use. So I have to go from round one to forty-three. And it's held by Balloon Popper, so I have to beat his score in order to take over. Interesting. So, Monkey Legends. So, score is 19 tiers. So, I have to beat this with 19 tiers. Held Relics. So, what is this? All Moab class balloons spawn with 50% health and move at 95% speed. So, they're actually just weaker. I'm okay with that. So, let's give it a, let's give it a go. So, I can only use 19 Relics. Okay. Oh, look, it says the engineer paragon on it. Well, we're not gonna we're not gonna look at it. The master builder. Yo, that's so hype. Alright. So I gotta really think about this, right? But we have 19 tiers to beat this with. Round 43. Let me really think about the best way to go about this. Super Monkey Fan Club not might not be a bad idea. You know? Because with Super Monkey Fan Club, that'll turn them all into super monkeys, but we don't have a village. So we definitely need. They're not going to be able to hit uh, leads, so we're going to... Uh, camo leads are going to be kind of a problem, but it is only round 43. So I think we're going to do a... I think we're going to do a super monkey strat. Might not be the best idea. Or do we do engineers? Engineers are not bad. And we could do sentry experts, but that's four tiers. I really think the super monkey fan club is the play here. I know that sounds kind of gumpy, but I think that's what I'm going to have to do. But it's $8,000. 
and that will take a lot of money to save up for. Never miss targeting and spy plane might be the, the way to go. You know, I think that might be our option here. And if we could save up and just buy a Spectre, because it didn't say anything about the tiers. I'm thinking, I think I'm overthinking this. I think I just need to YOLO it. So I have 18 tiers left. I think getting one really strong plane is the way to go instead of a bunch of small ones. So I can either get a, a Super Monkey Fan Club, which does cost $8,000. And then I use just a bunch of normal Dart Monkeys and try to win, which might not be that great. Right, that could come back to bite me. I'm not gonna get a banana farm because that doesn't re reduce the amount of tears that we use, right? So I don't think that's gonna be the play. I think we wanna get just really strong towers. Maybe I get a crossbow. Cause crossbow is, and crossbow is pretty strong. Lead balloons are gonna be kind of problematic. I think we might actually use ice monkey, but if I use ice monkey, then I'd wanna use juggernaut. Man, this is hard. This is difficult. This is new. This is very new to me. I have 13 tiers left. If I can beat it with less than, I'll be able to take over the contested territory. I think I'm going to put a nice monkey here. Because he'll be able to deal. I, I, I really don't like that I'm doing this. But permafrost and then cold snap. All right. There we go. So that's going to deal with that. I have 10 tiers now. And I have to beat round 43 with my 10 tiers. So I don't think this is actually going to be too, too difficult. I think I might be able to do this to take over the contested territory. I Round 43 is not too difficult. So I think I should be able to manage that. Or at least I'm going to hope that I can manage that. Because that could be a little bit awkward. I think never miss targeting and spy plane is going to be the way to go. Because that, and if I can see, I mean, there's no way I'm going to buy a Spectre. So maybe there's just one. I mean, Sharpshooter does a crazy amount of damage. So higher tier towers are going to be better than a bunch of low tier towers, right? Because, for example, larger radius is the same, is counts as a tier, is the same as Sharpshooter, right? I only needed this guy because I really wanted to be able to hit lead balloons. Because right now I can't hit lead balloons. And he's going to kind of help out. Enhance trees and then deep freeze. Uh, attacks faster and freezes for longer. I'll probably want to get enhanced freeze. I, I'm only on round 16 right now, which is a little bit spooky. Okay, it's a lot of it spooky. <laughs> Maybe I can go ahead and get the engineer monkey. I don't know. I'm kind of spooked. I'm kind of big spooked right now. Engineer monkey could slap, like, and I could get deconstruction. I'm just really trying to think about how to deal with that Moab, and I think the Engineer Monkey might be the play for us. Just think getting another tier and like full sending it. I think Sharpshooter, I'm gonna get Sharpshooter, because Sharpshooter is just very strong. Checkpoint, wait, I got a checkpoint. Cool, I don't know what that means, but it said I just got a checkpoint. So we have nine tiers left, actually. I'm actually pretty happy about this. I could get Ice Shards. I think I'm gonna get Ice Shards, Raider Shards, fly out and when frozen balloons pop. I'm gonna get razor shards, enhanced freeze, and then deep freeze as well. Ah, do I wanna get deep freeze? Oh man, this is hard. I'm loving this so far. I'm loving these different strategies and things you have to go into it, thinking about how you wanna play the game. And especially, you're playing against real people for a, a team to get contested territories, to go up and battle them. I think that's actually so fun, and I'm actually so about that. I would love to make incorporate this into more videos. If you wanna see contested territories and things like this here on the channel when it does officially launch, let me know, guys. I still have seven tiers. Do I just save up and buy Crossbow Master? Let's see, Embrittlement. Can hit Moab class balloons. All hit balloons become brittle, take extra damage while frozen, and lose camo properties. Mm. Yeah, this, these guys are kind of an anti combo, but I think it's fine. Round 31. I still have seven tiers. Like, I still have a decent amount of money to use. And I also have to keep in mind, it's not that I need to beat, the, I mean, I need to beat the tier account, but if I win with a lower account, I'm assuming that that's going to look great for the team, right? And it's going to make it harder for other people to take the territory back. So we can keep fighting for it and making it as difficult as possible for someone to, you know, try to steal it from us. So I'm going to just kind of hold off. I don't think this guy can defeat a Moab on his own, though. He might be able to. He might be able to. Another team has set a new score to beat on this map? Oh, no. Okay, this is actually looking a little bit difficult. Uh, I kind of like that this guy's doing this now. Man, I have $6,000. Do I buy another? I really need to think about the next tower that I buy. I'm going to remove that for 350 I think I want to get the Ring of Fire. 
Ring of Fire could be nice for that, but it might not. Hmm. So far, we're, we are on round 37, though. We are doing pretty good. I don't know if we're going to be able to deal with a Moab class balloon. That's the problem, though. That's what I really need to be concerned about. All right? Can we deal with this Moab with this Moab class balloon? I don't want it to come back and bite me in the butt that I can't deal with it, though. I, if he gets some crits on it, I think we're going to be okay. Worst case scenario, this is what we'll do. I'll have a dart monkey ready to go, and I can get another crossbow shooter. But I, I'm pretty confident in this guy. If he gets some crits and we get lucky and we're able to take out this Moab class balloon, or, or do I get the embrittlement? All hit balloons become brittle, take uh, lose camo properties. I don't. I might get the embrittlement because that is only one tier. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get embrittlement. I'm gonna get embrittlement. Come on, get some more crits. I might need to put down another dart monkey. Dang it. I'm getting nearing the capture score. Oh no. Alright, I have two. I can't put any more down. Ah! That I shouldn't have put I shouldn't have put so many down. I think I might have been able to beat it. I don't know. That was scary. That was a lot of yellow balloons. I should have just tried to let him I should have just let him leak. I should have just let him leak. But that's fine. I should be able to beat this. Like, look at this. He only got 60 pops, actually. I would have been fine. I should have just let it go by. I should have just let it go by. Ah. All right, there we go. Victory. Yes. All right, so now do, do, did we capture it? Let's find out. So the, we captured it. So the score to beat was 21, and we got 19. So let's go review the map. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Let's go back home. And so did we get the territory? Did we take it? Is that ours now? Let's go. Yo. So now we get more. So we went up in points. That's so cool. So there's different ones. So least tiers, least cash. So this one, oh, I can't. Oh, so I have to be close to it in order to beat it. So what's this one? That's a boss. Oof. Is that seven minutes? Oh, wait, score? I don't know what that means. All right, let's see. Least cash. So the least cash was eight thousand dollars all right let's do it i'm down to try it let's see if we can take some from purple look at this brickles battlers they're they're up there on the the top score i think if we take this out sons of quincy's might go up in front so use the least cash possible to win the tile cash spent includes monkey tower placement and upgrades as well as played hero selling a monkey does not reduce the cash spent all right can i change my hero okay well then what hero? Okay. Oh, wait. Ger Geraldo's going to cost money. So who's like our bet? I, I mean, obviously, we just picked Sada, right? Like, Sada is definitely... The, the, do we not have Sada? Wait, Sada. Oh, Sada's banned. You know what? You can't have Sada. <laughs> do we go with Oban? Is Oban the play here? Am I bad? Am I missing something? No, Oban's definitely the play. All right, new game. Tickets. All right, let's do this. So... We have to do this with $8,000. We don't have to beat the Moab. We don't have to beat the Moab. We only have to do that. All right. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right. First thing first, we just put Oban down. We'll put Oban right here. Smack dab in the middle. I could put Oban. If I put Oban here, he actually can hit. I think he can hit both spots there. So I think that's like, that's going to be the spot for Oban. Okay, so I have $7,000 to deal with this. Let's take a think. Let's think. Wait, free dart monkey? That doesn't cost any money. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, $7,000 is the price limit. Okay, well, obviously, obviously we're going to get Drew to the Jungle. That's $1,000. And Drew to the Jungle has infinite range and infinite epicness and we'll be able to deal with that. Then we have to deal with camo balloons, ninja monkey. Easy peasy. Ninja monkey is going to be the one for us. Uh, lead balloons can be popped by the druid. There's no lead camos until for, there isn't any, and I think that's the play. So $7,400. I think I can beat that pretty easily, actually. I'm not too worried about that. I, 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 okay, okay. I say, I say that. I say that. But that's obviously not going to be the case. So let's go ahead... Let's put, let's put our little druid down right here. Thorn Swarm. 
Heart of Oak, okay. I want, th I don't want anyone to take these, okay? Because this here's the thing. You can just kind of like slowly beat the challenge, but if you just go crazy right at the start and make sure no one's going to beat the challenge, that's just going to be in your team's favor until it goes neutral again on the contested territory. I, w I can't wait until all the big YouTubers... Here's the thing. Should we have a group full of all the YouTubers? Or should we have all the YouTubers have their, like, their, their battling clans? I have no idea which would be a funnier option. Like, no clue what would be better. All right, Drew to the Jungle, which is $1,000. All right. I can't see camo blooms, which is going to be a problem. So do I just get the ninja? Yeah, I think I just get a ninja, right? I literally think I'm fine. I think I'm going to need to be able to see camo balloons. But the only person that... Okay, we have a couple of guys that can quote-unquote see camo balloons, but it's obviously got to be a ninja. And we'll just put our ninja right there. And then we can just get nin we can just get ninja discipline. Honestly, I don't even think we need anything else. Like, I actually think that these towers uh, by themselves will be able to do this. Like, the Druidic... Like... Drew to the jungle is such a slapper of a tower. We have $4,000 left over, and I think we're going to be fine. Owen's going to naturally level up, so he's going to stay at the same price. So having the hero is going to be very, very, very beneficial for us. Another team set a new score to beat. Rude. Wait, now it's 5,563. Wait, what? The, the score went up. The, pr the, the number of the money that I need. What? That's more money. Shouldn't have gone down? That's fine. I'm not going to complain about it. I'm going to have the ninja make sure that he only targets the camo balloons because that's his only job is to hit camo balloons. And from now, I'm going to just spend the least amount of money possible. I might get Seeking Shuriken. Might get Seeking Shuriken. We're going to see. But I have $5,000. So this is like, look at this guy. 2,000 pops on this guy. Crazy. We have $5,000 left over. So, so far, so good. I'm not buying any upgrades. Plus our free dart monkey, because he's free. We take that. Uh-oh, regrow balloons. Oh, do I get any upgrades? No, 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 he's fine, he's fine. There we go, we're on round 37. This is gonna be a really hard thing to beat. I think it's possible if someone upgrades and doesn't buy the ninja discipline, right? I don't think you have to have the ninja discipline. I got it, just cause, why not? It's nice to have. But we could have had some of the balloons get by, no problem. But it is nice to have it, so maybe this is going to work out. Look at this guy, 7,000 pops. We have so much money left over. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And yeah, I mean, balloons didn't even like get very far on the screen at all. Our Drew just solo carried us. Let's go. We crushed that one. We crushed that one. We four towers placed. Look at that. The score to beat 8,000. Your score 3,500. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. So now let's see if the let's see what the ranking systems. So the brickle battle brickle battlers. Oh, but they just gotten some. All right, there we go. We got it. Let's go. Yeah, let's see if someone takes that 3,500 dollars. That's what I'm talking about. We're still low. So I actually was supposed to film this a, like a little earlier, but unfortunately I wasn't to join in with everyone. So I'm kind of playing catch up here, but that's fine. Let's do one more. Let's see if we can get one more for our team here. We got this, like all these things in here, least cash, least tiers. That's around 50. What's the amount of tiers they use? Nine tiers. That's brutal for around one to 50. All right, let's see. What else do we got here? Least tiers, that's 24 tiers. That's, I think, I, and I can't beat anything. It has to be touching my tile. So, least cash, $10,000 in round 44. That seems, I can do that. 44, $10,000? What do you, oh, 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 that's, that's gnarly. $10,000. That's the score. That's really hard. Let's see. 46 tiers. Okay. I think I think I can do this one for 46 tiers. I think that's I'll I can manage that. Oh, we got our druid too. It's on like Donkey Kong. 46 tiers? Not even. I'm not even worried about it. Alright, so we have 40. Wait, does every time the hero level up, does that count as a tier? Because if that counts as a, The balloons are going the wrong way! 
Why are the balloons over here? I don't want the balloons to be over here. Oh, that's so tedious. I wasn't paying attention to that. Wait, I want to see if this guy levels up if he counts as a tier. I'm going to restart. That's a much better spot. I didn't know they were going to be all the way over there. All right. Do I use free towers? All right. We have to be... We only have to beat round 41, and we have 46 tiers. 46 tiers is bonkers. I got to round 39 using, like, six tiers. So this is not going to be that big of a deal. You all know what time it is already, okay? Uh, we'll put... This is going to be our Druid, Thorn Swarm, Heart of Oak. Now we just save up for the Druid. This is literally... We're going to do the exact same setup we did last time. The exact same, except we're just going to go bottom path ninja so he gets uh, sticky bombs. And then once he has sticky bombs, we just win. So, wait, 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 wait. If this guy levels up, does it count as a tier? Because if it does, I might sell him. Because I don't want him just... No, he leveled up to level 4 and it did not take away a tier. Let's go! We get sticky bomb ninja, and then we're literally good. Literally, actually completely fine. I think we just win. And we'll do ninja discipline as well. So we'll start with ninja discipline. Actually, no we don't. We want the least amount of tears possible. So Seeking Shuriken, Caltrops, and then we're at 38. So my guess is we're going to only need 36 tears. That's my guess. I get My guess is we're going to only need 36 tears. I don't know why anyone would use these three towers when you have Ninja Monkey and Druid. You don't need them. You don't need them, okay? Checkpoint reached. I'm very grateful that there's checkpoints. I'm not entirely sure what the checkpoints mean, but I guess is if you lose, you can go back to your checkpoint to where you were. Diggy bomb, three, two, one, and boom. All right, now we're good. 36 tiers remaining. I think, is there a smaller amount that you could do this with? I don't think so. Maybe you could do it without putting down open. Maybe you could do it without putting down open. But I, how many pops does he have? You, yeah, you could probably do this with 37 tiers if you don't use Obin and you use only the ninja and this guy I think you would be completely fine. So I would love to see somebody try to take this back I guess if they watch this video, they'd be like, oh, yeah, I'll just do that without Obin and then I'll be just fine <laughs> Which I think is absolutely hysterical. All right, I got to keep putting my brambles down just in case I'm gonna have this guy target camo balloons as well. Not that I think it's too important, but it is nice Plus, he only has 300 pops, but trust me, he's going to be very important. Oh, maybe you do need open. Actually, I think you do need open. Cool. That makes me happy to hear that. So now the question is, all right, let's see how well he does against this. Okay. So now Moab, let's see. And are we okay? Are we going to be okay? Easy. Let's go. And now round 41. All right. Put brambles back up. And did it with 36 tiers. Let's go. Let's go. We have so many tiers remaining. That is some contested territory for us. That's what we like to see. Victory. That's so cool. Look at that. Score to beat 46. Your score, 10. That's so good. So we got some rewards. We got some monkey money. Let's go. That's what I like to see. So the Heroic Defenders, how many points did that give us? It didn't give us any points. I don't know what that means. I have no clue. So you get tickets every 10 hours. So you get one ticket. So let's go to my team store. So you can buy the bigger balloon sabotage and things. Inventory. Monkey King. So you can contribute to things. That's so cool. So where where is my team? So here's this is my team. So there's the messages. Okay, and then we have the roster, and that's all of us as well, which is really cool. And then you have your, your global team, local team. Look at this, global team. I would love, we have to get a global team one day. That's going to be so cool to create the ultimate team of people. Huge shout out to Ninja Kiwi for letting us participate in this amazing early access thing. Would love to know what you thought, what your thoughts on this are. Comment down below. Do you Are you enjoying it? Do you think it's a cool idea? I would love to know. This is a beautiful, absolutely amazing. I love it so much. So thank you so much for watching. 